Hey Lego fans, welcome to another one of my videos, Benny Hill Bricks. And today I'm doing my first, yes first and hopefully not my last, The Lego Movie 2. Set number 70824. Six plus. Introducing Queen Whatever Wannabe. I think I said that right. Hopefully I did. And this one was the first one I brought because basically I had a vouch to use in the shop and I thought I'd get this one. I think it's a bit expensive. It's in the UK. It's £17.99. I managed to get £5 off it and that's how much I think it should be. £12.99 personally myself. There's not a lot of pieces in it. I mean, there's 115 pieces. It doesn't seem very much for a set like this. But I quite like the look of it. I'm just about to open it and then build it. I like the beginning of the guy. Because apparently he is... Well, in the trailer, you see him slipping over. And then you've got different... Um, you no, know, quite a female heavy one, isn't it? Like they're all quite, you know, quite a lot of um, females in it. I don't, and, and it looks quite awesome. And... I've just been watching Jango Bricks, a brilliant YouTuber on Lego, and um, and he obviously showed you the box as well. And I, and I, I'd never really noticed before how different the boxes were. I just thought they were all the same. But it, like in on our boxes in the UK, we've got a bit here that tells you where to put your thumb in and how to open it and pull it apart. Didn't have them on the on the um, American version. I presume it was an American version. And then also it tells you there no one not for under freeze but on the american version for some reason they have a big thing here i'm going to probably include a picture so you can see what i'm talking about and and then they had a thing here and it said big thing like telling you choking hazard you know what i mean and, and not suitable under freeze and i just thought it was slightly odd that they need such a big warning and there's a lot more going on on the box as well it tells you how many pieces which i do like that i like how it tells you how many pieces i can't seem to find anywhere on this box where it tells you how many pieces are in it well i could be wrong um so but yeah it had the piece count and it had obviously some different languages the water choking as a warning and it had like here above here age so you know what that, that was to do with age but i mean it's just i mean pretty obvious really six plus is the, is the age but you know i mean it almost felt like it they needed everything explaining to them or i don't know i mean we have a warning on it on ours but ours is like really tiny where is it um somewhere I'll fit my Oh, there we go. It says, I hope you can see that. Warning, choking hazard, small parts and small balls. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, I just thought it was, so I never really thought about it or noticed it before, how different the boxes were. And now for the big reveal. So apparently, the big reveal, not really a reveal, is it? Oh, well, a reveal of what's inside. I'm going to. But yeah, we've got these sort of perforated bits there. You sort of shove your finger in, it's supposed to, and it's supposed to open for you. Open well, like push your finger in. End up creasing it. Crease the hell out of the box, right? Whatever. Right? Right, yeah. mm. right, so. So I'm a bit sad because I like to keep the boxes and the instructions and everything. And I've just tried to open that and push it in where it says to put your fingers and it's completely creased the box. I know some people, a lot of kids probably just rip it straight open and straight in there. That's kind of annoying. If I've done it wrong, please tell me. It's been a bit simple. I'm not opened it out so to, but it shows you pushing your fingers in. So I presume you push your fingers in. Anyway. I'm talking a lot of rubbish, aren't I? If you're still with me, thank you for staying with me. <laughs> I haven't insulted anyone too much. Right there, uh, we have... Let's get rid of the box, because it's quite big uh, and bulky. Uh, well, in this tiny space that I have, is we've got... The Instruction Manual! Whee! 
This is a, probably the newest set I've bought for quite some time, to be honest with you. Like I said, I do, obviously I do buy Lego, but I, a lot of my, I've been buying a lot of retired sets and or older sets. But there we go, there's the instruction manual. Du -du 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 -du. It tells you the number of code and there should be two bags and the number and everything. Awesome, everything is awesome. Uh, there you go, so that's that one done. You've got this bag. I think it's got these on the Lego looks of it. Uh, 2017, the Lego Group. Hmm, weird, 2019 now. There you go. And then you've got bag two. Well, you can the bags, telling you which bag to open and when. But like it says, not a lot of pieces in there. I'm going to get cracking. Hey, so here he is. It's the banana guy. I actually quite like this guy a lot. I, I know it's just so simple, but it's so, so effective. And he looks like he could be a funny guy in the film. And yeah, so um, I quite like him. Yeah, I, just want, I liked everybody in the set, so this is why I brought this set. Uh, <laughs> but I like his goofy eyes. <laughs> I like how he, he stands up quite well actually, I mean, uh, but, you know, he stands up quite well, I think, really well, so I don't know why other people have been saying he doesn't stand up very well, I know, he's got his little tail banana bit here, you know, I mean, even if he does fall over, he, he does that in the film anyway, so, you know what I mean, <laughs> apparently he falls over lots, he does it in the trailer, but now I quite like him, that, that is a printed brick, I know, shock horror, Printed brick. That's probably why it cost seventeen ninety nine. But there you go. So he's pretty awesome. And then you get Lucy. Yeah, right. There she is. She's handcuffed. She looks quite cool in the face, doesn't she? Yeah. She looks stern. Stern. But in a. But then they look at that one. She looks even stern in that one. Oh my. She's not happy. <laughs> well, yeah, so. So now I'm going to move on to the other part of the set. So here is the finished set, and I have to say I quite like it, I think it's really really good. You've got Lucy, who we all know, you've got Susan, there's Susan, hello Susan. <laughs> you've got Sweet Mayhem, you've got Queen Whatever Wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> got some printed pieces and you can make it into the, the piece that looks like a blob and there's the other pieces sleeping or eyes closed and another printed piece so yes you can make it into an alternative build <laughs> oh yeah i like it i think it's quite cool and Looks cool, looks smart, looks tidy, looks cool, good. So yes, it's not many pieces though, like I said, three minifigures, it's, um, I don't know, 115 pieces. But, 
I think it's a fun little set which has quite a lot of cool characters from the film and it does introduce Queen whatever wannabe <laughs> cool thanks for watching and please like and subscribe and some more videos incoming soon we have Susan holding a tray with the cups and without the tray of cups looking a bit glum then we have sweet mayhem with a cool headpiece cool head and a cool wings and then queen whatever wannabe and banana thanks for watching